Approaching the century, it's the 99th Rustlers Collingwood Cup Final, a trophy first competed for in 1914. It's past masters against absolute beginners, the 13 times champion UCC face University Limerick, the host of this great competition, who have never won the trophy before. Here we are at the wonderful markets field after a long week of competition here down Shannon side. And the manager of DCU who've won medals today is with me, Johnny McDonald. Show us your medals, Johnny. Yeah, we just got beaten in the Shield final here, so it's a runners up medal. But it's been a great week, Will, I have to be honest. It's been great planning, great preparation. Facilities in UL are second to none, I have to say. And uh, we've got two really good teams uh, competing for the final here today. And the fact that one of them actually beat DCU in the quarterfinals of the Collingwood Cup means that you know quite a bit more about UCC than the average layman. They don't, they, they, they beat us 2 when We started the game slow, we had a very young team, but they're a good, strong, uh, strong attacking team. They try and get it down and play it. Uh, young Owen Collins is not playing today. He was sent off yesterday. They're going to hit, miss him in, in an attacking uh, role for them where he breaks the line really, really well. But, uh, you know, they're a good team, and as I said, they get it down to play. Whereas UL are a bit more direct and they've they great pace on the wings. And, uh, you know, they've, they've got good players, can get goals, but great pace in the UL team. Well, we're really looking forward to it. Let's hear from both managers. It's, it's, been, it's been a hard couple of days, to be honest with you. And uh, Collingwood is never easy. It's never... Uh, it's a tournament that uh, is very tough mentally, physically. Um, you're trying to prepare 23 lads. Uh, you get highs, you get lows, um, you get emotional, you're battling. Um, the game's got everything because, you know, you, you look at our first game against UCD or C uh, DCU, we were backs to the wall for 20 minutes and we were winning 2-0. You think that you'd get the ball down and you play it, but they changed attack and they came at us and they made a very bruising battle for 20 minutes and they scored with 10 minutes to go and you know that's Collingwood football. And then yesterday's game was a very, very tactical game. It was to frustrate UCD, uh, get our shape right, very different to what the team is used to. We like getting the ball down and playing it. We asked a little bit different from our team, um, but it's, I think they saw the benefits within within 20 minutes of the game. You know, we. we Two goals that I thought considered were over the line and uh, could have changed the game completely. But we just frustrated them and, and going down to 10 men in the second half made it even more challenging. But, you know, there's a bunch of lads inside it that are listening. Um, thankfully, we have a little bit of experience that can bring to the table in winning Collingwoods and also losing Collingwoods. And, um, and today is no different. We just feel that today we're, we have a great bunch of lads uh, and a little bit of experience there. We have a couple of lads that have won the Collingwood and they're, they're sharing that, those sort of emotions with them as well. It would be magnificent if we could do it. It would be really good for um, just the sports office who put on a superb tournament. NASA, Dave Mahidi, who would give anything to have the Collingwood. But also, Will, for like hundreds and thousands of players who've played for UL all around the world. We've been getting messages all morning. Who, When February comes, they get out their newspapers and they have a look to see how the Collingwood's going. And we're doing it for them as well, yeah. I mean, it is a very quick rotation. Got through the quarterfinals on Monday, the following day, 2-0 victory over Ulster University. Third game in as many days. Yeah, and as I pointed out earlier, uh, a lot of our guys played on Sunday. So this is actually fourth game in a row for a lot of guys. So that's something that needs to be looked at by the organizing committee. Um, but it's tough. We left three guys out yesterday from the start, brought them in off the bench, which worked out very well yesterday against Ulster. We got a lift off it. Can't really do that today. So we'll, we'll be going strongest from the front. So. What would it mean? Perhaps you haven't had a, a think ahead as to what it would mean if you lift the cup, but it, it, it would be immense for soccer in this area at this level? Be huge for us, uh, for just the college. Uh, it'd be huge for me. And I know Mike, my, uh, Mike, who's the, the other manager, I, I practically give anything that uh, I've done before in football to win here today, so it's huge. And University Limerick, in terms of this level, quite a lot more inexperienced. There's most of their squad actually competing in the Collingwood Cup for the first time. But they've done really well to get here, beat University, Ulster University in the semi-final yesterday. Oh yeah, no, they're well organised. They look like a proper, you know, proper team. And uh, they all, uh, everyone knows the jobs around the pitch. And they look like a proper team that's been playing week in and week out. Elia Corson, who was one of the goal scorers yesterday. He'll be coming off the bench today, which is quite interesting. He got a, he got a fine goal yesterday. Murphy, great pace to set down the wing. You know, great pace, break him and a counter-attack, and that's the way they play. Great ball into the box and a tidy finish to finish the game off to make it 2-0. It's always a very long week here, and it's the third game in as many days for both these sides, which means tiredness generally, it's a factor, isn't it? Yeah, well, when I mean, you're playing, the, you know, 
competition where you have three or four matches in, in three or four days. It's about the rotation of the squad and it's how well they've done it. You know, they've, you know, UL have, have got their games on the grass. I think UCC have played most of their games on the on the 4G pitches as well. So that might have a little effect on players as well. But it's how the, the coaches and the managers have rotated the team. And then we come into play at the end of the, uh, later on in the game, who's the fresher team, Will? We're looking forward to this. The 2019 Rustlers Collingwood Cup final is go. So run through the UCC lineup. They've got 12 of the squad who reached the CUFL final last year, pipped 1-0 by UCD, but they beat them in the semi-final yesterday. Simon Falvey got the a winning goal in that. Patrick Crowley comes into the side in place of the suspended Owen Collins. A strong bench with Carl O'Hanlon, the goalkeeper, and John Buttermer as well. So University Limerick have never won this title before. Goal scorers in the semi-final yesterday, Edmund Edouard, who starts, and Elia Kuatsen, who doesn't. Goalkeeper Sean McCormick has been very effective, a clean sheet in that 2-0 semi-final victory over Ulster University. Question certainly will be one to watch off the bench, probably will be coming on, and Oshin Kelly has tons of experience also. UL, they're in the final, you know, they've hosted the tournament. A brilliant opportunity for, the, for them to go on and win their first Collingwood Cup. So the referee for the final, Nigel Casey, the assistants, Jackie Curran and Andy Hall, and the fourth official is Brian Higgins. And the 99th IUFU... Rustler's Collingwood Cup final is underway. UCC are in the white and black. And University Limerick sharing their colours with Barcelona, the great maroon and blue. 16 first-timers in their overall squad for this. It'll be interesting to see how they can deal with the pressure. They're dealing with it very well early on because there's... Adam Foley coming forward for them, and Foley will have a pop! And that's a superb save by David Coffey after barely 30 seconds of the cup final. What a brilliant effort by Foley, and there's no fear in this UL team. How could we even think of it? And they're coming forward again, it's a decent ball, Foley is up there once more, and David Coffey saves. We spoke about them being direct, a big ball down through the middle of the pitch. Adam Foley onto a like a lie. But what a fantastic save by Coffey. We spoke about him before the game, Will. His athleticism, he's very agile. You well on the front foot here. They're pressing really high up the pitch, Will. They're trying to win it back as high as possible. And here we go again. Alan Murphy gathering deep but crowded out and well gathered by uh, Robert Slevin, who was involved in the squad last year. This panel of really... Strong, deep experience, the captain, but the free kick's been given away, and UL have got chances here. Looking for a good delivery here now, Will. I think it's Murphy, yeah. Murphy's got plenty to aim for in the centre. Little flick on, coming brilliantly at the near post, and it came from the man up from the back, Shane McCallion as well. The man from, from Slagger Rovers he's come from. He's been involved in the Ulster Senior League, and that was a cracking opportunity. UL have had two brilliant chances very early on here. Yeah, good delivery in by Murphy, and it's really, really good opportunity, Will, to take the lead. Be manly this time with the left foot to swing it in. Well met, left footed, looking for the flick on, right in front of goal on the turn. Slevin puts it wide. He didn't have the right angle when he struck it. It's only one in a hundred of those that finds the top corner. Walker got a forward towards Hennessy, but has support to his left arriving now from Simon Falvey. He's gone down, play allowed to continue, and the low strike by Matt McKevitt saved well by McCormick. Very good advantage by referee Nigel Casey, and what a brilliant opportunity that was. He's down as well, having set up that opportunity, but it was a brilliant chance. I have to say, it was a Hennessy picked her up, Will. He picked her up and he's, he's drove forward 10, 15 yards. Nice ball into Falvey, was definitely taken down, probably should be a yellow card. I have to give the referee credit, he's let the play go on, Will. He's played the advantage. And Matthew McKevitt will be sorry he didn't uh, put that one away for 1-0. Great save by Sean McCormick, I have to say. It's Garen Manley who will take it for UCC. 
Big delivery! And it's come off the crossbar! Slevin was up there again. It came off one of those heads. And UL survive. It was definitely Slevin's header. Good delivery by Manley. He's come onto the right hand side to take them, swing them in. The last last attack has probably knocked a bit of confidence to Sean McCormick in the UL goal. Good curl in by Alan Murphy and well claimed by David Coffey. I mean, that is a tremendous stop. As I said, he just takes so much pressure from. Oh, great touch. He's That's in. a gorgeous ball. Falvey, big opening. Crowley hits the post. Oh, my word. Well, they've hit the upright twice now. That was their big moment. Hit the bar through Slevin. Crowley hits the upright. Well, at times, McCormick's goal has led a very charmed life. That's keeper to keeper, and a bit of a stretch for David Coffey, and they're claiming it was over the line. VAR, Will. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have been a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Coffey did enough to keep it out. Well, I suppose you have to appeal those things. You don't ask, you don't get. <coughs> it looked like he was well in control. He just backpedaled a little bit. Here we go. Chance for the cross from Scott. Cross was... Decent, Manley couldn't get behind it properly. Well, that was a moment. He has the win to his back, there's no doubt about it, McCormick, and he get good length on it anyway. Defensively, UCC have been very firm so far, and it was a solid header away by Gordon Walker. Might have that yellow card hanging over him. It was a well-timed challenge slid in by Garon Manley. He's experienced, as you said, Will. He does his defensive walk in front of the two centre-halves. He can get on it, he can set up the play. He links well in midfield uh, from the back in the midfield and midfield up to the front men. He's from Middleton. His manly plays uh, for the Middleton senior hurlers as well. It's a dangerous one across. Now UL have got the opportunity and they have the lead goal! 37 minutes played! Alan it's Murphy. Alan Murphy! What a finish! Again, Will, it came from the long throw in, and we said about the second balls. UCC didn't deal with two. Here we go, Will, it's the second, the second ball. It's come off Slevin. A good little layoff. Oh, what a finish. He's in on it like a light, Murphy. He's obviously given, you know, he's, he's obviously given Hayes a good early call. He stepped out of the way. And he's put it in with his left foot. Coffee has no chance. Here we go. Half time, Will. And uh, two very impressive goalkeeping performances so far. And it is Alan Murphy who's got the lead goal at the break for University Limerick. A long throw from the right. It fell for Murphy inside the area. And at half time in the 2019 IUFU Rustlers Collingwood Cup final, it's UCC nil, University Limerick one. So the second half is underway. In the IUFU, Rustlers Collingwood Cup final, University Limerick, 45 minutes from glory from their first title. They have a lead that they will strongly, and they know it will be strongly, have to defend in this second half. UCC have been here before. Champions most recently, 2011, 2015, 2017. It hurt a little bit that they didn't win it when they were the hosts uh, three years ago. Like all great competitions, looking to protect the format for as much as possible. But it makes it a long week. When this was first played for, there wasn't the League of Ireland. Local club football didn't have a lot of that either. But anyway, a good bit of room in the centre and suddenly a thunderbolt from absolutely nothing. First time strike. And it's Odwaru almost adds to a semi-final goal in the most incredible fashion. What a chance. Good build-up play. McSweeney took his time, picked his pass, and he's just come on to a ball. Great strike. Just off target, Will. Just off target. Just enough time for Matt McKevitt to get it under control. The bounce didn't cause him any difficulties. Back for Gordon Walker again. Cross right footed, dangerous ball in the net! Only two Superb ball! He 
Ben Fletcher went for it on the near side and it's all gone wrong for University Limerick. And with four minutes to go, UCC have tied it up. Simon Falvey, it looks like Falvey to me. Falvey went in there with Fletcher. That was a terrific cross. Crowley with it. Yes. And that is a fantastic finish by Falvey. He's done it again. Well, the prospect has opened of extra time. Falvey trying to sweep that away. In the centre, dangerously for Walker. Big opening, McCormick in the way. And UCC want to win it in the 90 minutes. Still three or four left, Will. Great chance, he met it well. The first strike by Falvey was rebuffed and then it fell to Walker. That's it, it is extra time in the IUFU Rustlers Collingwood Cup final. It's finished one apiece. Simon Falvey's come up trumps for, for UCC, I have to say. UL for me dropped off too early in the second half. Good touch. Good opening suddenly coming up for Liam Cronin as he tries to get the cross in for UCC. It's good play for Cronin. He's stuck it through the legs of the UL defender. And uh, just unlucky with the cross. First corner of extra time, Will. So it's Manley who'll take the corner for UCC into extra time. And UCC lead! What a header! What an absolute belter! It's come from Robert Slevin, the captain. Enough said. UCC 2, University Limerick 1. I have to say, Will, I'll be proud of that one myself. Great delivery by Manley. Ah, yeah. He's got, he's got to be nice and strong in the six-yard box. Could the keeper come for it? McCormick, Robert Slevin. Powerful header. Absolute powerful. The two has just come on. It's just cleared two brilliant balls. And they're in here. Oh no. Oh, Donovan's done absolutely brilliantly for the 60 seconds he's, he's been on, hasn't he? Clear two balls. Here forward he goes by again. Sean McCormick. McCormick with a great ball forward. Oh, Donovan's there again. Time rolls on. That should be it, Will. Here's Hennessy. Mulcahy starts to the run inside his own half. He's onside. Mulcahy's he's past the goalkeeper. He's the a ball. long way out. He's eating up the seconds instead of thinking of a third. Now he goes for it. Oh. Just past the post. And UCC have taken it for the 14th time. They <laughs> win the IUFU Rustlers Collingwood Cup. That is three triumphs in five years. And University Limerick, who put so much into it, who led for so long. Alan Murphy with the lead goal after 37 minutes, but they were pegged back by Falvey's equaliser. Four minutes from the end, and then they lost in extra time. It's their third Rosslers Collingwood Cup in five years. It's UCC's again. The 99th Collingwood Cup is won for the 14th time by University College Cork. I know, unbelievable. Just can't really describe it, to be honest. Like, just running away there with all the lads like who've worked so hard for the last few days. It's just even just like spend that like moment with them like it's unreal. But trailing for, for so long during the 90 minutes as well and just edging that equaliser right at the end of the 90. Yeah I think I think the, our last two games over the weekend like against DCU UCD kind of set us up well like we knew that we had to go to the end all the time like so it's unreal like just, just everyone just put in every 23 players just put in the work this year. What does it feel to win this again? There's three titles, three Collingwood Cups now in, in five seasons for UCC. I know, I think since the 21st century, UC have won it the most. Like, so for, I have two years left now, so like, it would be great to just kind of build on that now. Like, and going into the CFL and Intermediate Cup now we have, so it's exciting times. Like. Um, I knew once we got the first, we, we, I thought we were going to sit back, but straight away we pressed and pressed and pressed and went for the, new, for the next goal. Like, and that's just the desire we have in the team and all the training, everyone puts in the hard work, the cold nights there where it's been. The whole time, like you know, we're down there doing doggy sprints, runs. You know, sometimes you have 13, 15 fellas, but you're still there, and that's that's what it's all about. You know, it's these days that you that you look forward to in the end, like you know, and these are the days we deserve. 
I mean, but the, the utter concentration, the equaliser after 86 minutes, having trailed from yeah, deep in the first half. Yeah, look, I mean, it was a mistake. Like, the, the ball came in, your man buried it, to be fair. It was a good goal. Like, But, I mean, it, before that, we could have been two, three up if, if, if needed, you know. Um, I mean, Pops hit the post. I think Matt is unlucky with a one-on-one. -on -one, but, again, that's just the character we have to come back again. Like, I mean, late in the half there, I mean, we, went, we played UCD, a League of Ireland team yesterday, thumped them, even with 10 men. Um, even though we were we were defending, but we were we were quite good. Came in there today again, like and uh, showed our quality again. Even towards the end, like the last ten minutes, I think we we really came into our shell. Like we moved a few bodies around and created much more chances than them. Like we were all on the over them. Gordon, well done, and uh, let's see if we can get Simon Falvey here. <laughs> we'll just nab you for a second. It's okay. A very important contribution for you at the end of the ninety. Yeah, I know. I, I just saw it. We were working on it all week to run to the front post, so I just lucky it came off in the last minute. And then extra time, getting that goal at the right time early on and then getting the win again. Yeah, I know Rob came through again. He's, he's unbelievable in the air. So to, for him to get it at the perfect time there, it really set us up for the rest of the extra time. Absolutely. And I, I mean, if you're a successful side, every triumph doesn't feel the same. Well, it's my first Conor so it feels unbelievable. So I wouldn't be able to tell you that. It's hard to believe because um, I actually thought I never saw the, the goal coming. I mean, it didn't look like it was... We were going to create any chances. They defended very, very well. They, they defended very, very deep. They're a big physical side. We got into a little bit of a battle with them. When we got the ball down and started playing a little bit, we started creating chances. Uh, we took a little bit of a gamble, went three at the back and put a couple of bodies, extra bodies up top and it paid off. We delivered a great ball. I don't know whether it was a super finish or it was a lucky finish, but it, does, it didn't make any difference. We, uh, we brought the game to extra time. And to be honest with you, when you look at the likes of Rob Slevin, he's a, he's a name for the future. He's a guy that uh, you need as a leader at times, and he stood up and he put his head on a ball that came in an, an extra time. It was just absolutely fantastic. Absolutely I mean, fantastic. all the triumphs count, and like UCD last season, you're, you're double chasing now? Uh, we're double chasing. It's, it's, it, listen, it's hard to defend this <laughs> tournament because you've, you've a new flex of parents, players coming in every single year, so it's hard to experience this. It's hard to relive it. Um, Actually, funny enough, sometimes the first game is the hardest game because the first game is you, you, you need to get into the tournament. So you get over the first one and then you're into the tournament and, and you tend to settle a little bit. But I have to give credit to UL. They're, they're a great bunch of lads. They came here with a set plan. They battled all day long. The set pieces were dangerous. Um, and we came out top in the end and that's what matters, you know, taking the cup home to Cork. Congratulations. I mean, Johnny, that was that was quite the final just a real ebb and flow for the 110 minutes yeah from the very 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 first 90 seconds you well came out the front foot had a chances you know coffee's made a few saves took you uh, ucc a little bit of time to get into the game but you know is right you well were well organized you know morphy so dangerous in the first half his pace his, his delivery from free kicks. He obviously got the goal. He did a long throw in. You know, yeah, UCC didn't deal with it. I wouldn't say it was a mistake. They just didn't deal with it. But they were patient enough. They knew what they were about. They controlled the second half at Manly in the second half. Slevin then getting the late goal. They pushed on. We said out in the commentary, they gone three at the back. For me, you, you well, just a little bit of inexperience. They needed someone to control. E even where they were on the pitch, they had dropped too deep for me in the second half. I think once UCC got the got the equaliser, you know, and uh, Falvey came up. I, I don't think it was a lucky goal. I think it was a great bit of movement across the front post. He's just got a good touch on it. Great delivery into the box. And once he got that equaliser, I think there was only going to be one winner. And what a great header. I'd have been proud of that one myself. Great delivery by Manley. And as he said, this lad, Rob Slevin, looks like he's a bit of a player. Absolutely. Well, it has been, as usual, a dramatic Rustlers Collingwood Cup final and the Collingwood Cup is heading back down to the banks from Marcusfield and Limerick. Goodbye.